florals, checks, plaid, herringbone, every print was given a new lease of life this season. I think the most obvious example of this is at Celine where Phoebe Philo took a market stall bag, took that check and used it on skirts and tops and made you see something that you see every single day on the street and made it look fresh and interesting. Designers reinvented prints and pattern for autumn. Burberry made leopard print much more youthful, Rodato had a go at tie-dye, and Junior gave traditional tartan an uptown spin. I love the new spin that Riccardo Chichi gave florals at Givenchy. Sheer pencil skirts and leather biker jackets were given a new twist, and despite a really pretty rose print, they still look modern and strong. As part of the print works trend, you're going to see lots of heritage fabrics. So we're talking about tweed and houndstooth, maybe some puppy tooth, uh, and even pinstripe. But what makes it different this season is that traditionally we're used to seeing those fabrics in our day wear, but designers have taken them and made them more evening appropriate. And the way that they've done that is with the cut, is by the finishing of the fabric using organzas and, and shot taffetas. And so now this look is, is basically will take you from an office or to a cocktail party. Taking familiar graphic shapes and subverting them was a narrative that played throughout the season. So a swipe of eyeliner just above the eye at Rag and Bone, or playing with the under eye shapes with a swipe of coal as at Versace, giving new architectural and modernist feel to the eye area for autumn. Architectural hair shapes reigned too, but were less ornate and graphic than in seasons past. The symmetry of a sleek middle parting, poker straight lengths tucked behind the ears at Antonio Berardi, Dax and Jason Wu was still the most lucid, fresh idea to explore.